C'è Pirlo, 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 ancora Pirlo di Tecco, Pirlo, Hello, you're listening to Calcio Daily, everything you need to know about Italian football in less than five minutes. Ciao ragazzi, this is Andrew with your Calcio Daily for Thursday, December 23rd, our 119th daily show in a row. The Serie A year wraps up with Inter Milan crowned winter champions and we look forward to 2022 with a fascinating title race on the horizon. A Denzel Dumfries goal on the half hour was enough for Inter to beat Torino while Milan secured second place in Serie A with a solid 4-2 way a win to Empoli, their 17th away win in 2021. Two goals from Kessier along with more from Florenzi and Hernandez gave the Devils the win. Napoli, who were in second place at the start of the day, managed to lose their home game with Spezia 1-0, despite Spezia not managing a single shot on target. It was an own goal from Juan Jesus that separated the teams, yet Napoli were painfully weak in trying to break down their visitors. Bologna ended the year strongly with a good 3-0 win away to Sassuolo, who had recently taken points off Milan, Napoli and Lazio. Lazio, meanwhile, won 3-1 at Venezia. Finally, Verona and Fiorentina drew 1-1, as did Roma and Sampdoria. Jose Mourinho will not have been happy seeing Tammy Abraham leave the pitch with an injury, adding that all he could see was blood. Serie A takes a break until January 6, 2022, but Calcio Daily will be here every ding-dong day, somehow managing to cobble together a daily show for your listening pleasure. Your support keeps the show going and the best way to support us is by sending a donation from the Fountain Podcast app. Also check out our YouTube channel which will become a full on-camera show next year and subscribe to that. You can also leave us five-star reviews wherever you listen to the show. So until tomorrow, this is Andrew saying Arrivederci ragazzi, a domani. 